Podcasting from the Brooklyn Navy Yard in Brooklyn, New York. This is the Brooklyn Baritone Podcast. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. But of course, it's morning when I'm recording these productions and podcasts. But whenever you choose to listen to this morning, afternoon, evening, night, time, late at night, I always appreciate the likes, the looks, the listens. And of course, I'll appreciate the support by you hitting the subscribe and notification bell on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. But do that on your own accord. No pressure. But I would like the algorithm to swing in my favor. One of the simplest things to do but hardest things to do at the same time is to exercise humility because that requires you to submit yourself to something or someone or a situation. And most of the time we are a bit too prideful to feel that we need to bow down to a certain level. But see, when you're humble, you allow yourself to be open to suggestions that can save you time it can save you money and save face when we're humble we subject ourselves to knowing and understanding that our actions and our thoughts and our words impact other people that's basically what it is it's basically making sure that you're in a mindset to know that whatever you do resonates with anything and everyone around you in the most pos- positive way possible When it comes to humility, we all should be experiencing it. We all should be exercising it. But we also require leaders because most of the time leaders are in a position now where they are in charge of a lot of people, a lot of people's well-being and a lot of resources. Make sure that they are being managed and used properly. Looking at leaders, leaders have to often have a certain perception to be strong, to be convicted. The unfortunate part of our mindset and our culture is that we like to be wrong and strong. And this is where the common missteps happen all the time with people who are in leadership positions, who are in charge of resources, in charge of other people's livelihoods. So the bad thing is that when you're wrong and strong, you step on a lot of toes, you cause a lot of damage, a lot of issues, a lot of money lost. When was the last time we really experienced, say a big, a big position, large position, very important position, president, prime minister, premier, whatever it is. When was the last time you saw someone sitting while in that position actually give out a public apology and not giving an apology because their approval ratings are in the toilet or because it has happened to be a terrible PR storm that they wanted to scam because of the fact, you know what? I was convicted at that point when I made my decision to do whatever it was and the outcome was not desirable and it ended up causing more damage than we realized that we wanted. I apologize for everything that we've done. We're going to do whatever we can to make it right. When was the last time you probably heard a major world leader or a government leader say that? When was the last time you've heard a supervisor or manager say that, a director, CEO, and be legit genuine about it. Most of the time, unfortunately, because we always want to save face, we only wait because the issue is so big, we cannot avoid it any longer. And we have to, we have to address it. It shouldn't have to take that long. It shouldn't have to wait for public outcry. We should realize that, listen, we made a mistake. If you're a father in a home, Be one of the first ones to admit faults and mistakes. If you're a a worker in an organization, you're at fault for something. You should be one of the first ones to admit mistake. If you are a supervisor, an executive, you should most definitely be one of the first ones to admit mistake and fault and look to correct whatever action that you may have done or said that caused damage or loss of property or money. Humility is what is needed when wielding any type of power. And that goes for everybody because we all wield power. We all wield power with our actions, our presence, and more importantly, we wield power through our words. Words are powerful. I always say that because it is the truth. 
we get that from our creator. Believe it or not, spoke things into existence. We consistently speak things into existence. Humility will allow you room to make your decisions, but at the same time accept other people as well, to a degree. I remember growing up seeing an old commercial, a beer commercial, where they came up with a new type of bear and people, one side, a group of people said, oh, this is great because it tastes great. No, it's better because it's less filling. And there was a crowd that kept saying, tastes great, less filling, tastes great, less filling. Yeah, it was comical, but this is where we are right now. This, this is exactly where we are right now when it comes to a specific medicated stance, the medicated versus the unmedicated. And it's just almost as comical, but more, even way more destructive than that taste great, less filling commercial. And we're just consistently divided, divided and distracted because we lack humility. I guarantee if we had more practice of humility, we wouldn't have anywhere near the same amount of problems that we have right now today. We'd be more compassionate with our words and our actions. We wouldn't allow our leaders to get away with certain things. And to be honest, a lot of the leaders that are in place right now aren't really leaders. They're just in place. That's a whole nother story. But many of you who know, know. You hear my past podcast, you will see exactly what I'm saying. But that's a whole nother story. Your job, practice humility. Do the best you possibly can for yourself. And make sure that you are impacting other people around you in a positive, proper manner. That's all I have for the day. If you want to check out the rest of my content, please check out my website at www.brooklynbaritone.com. I even got merchandise. You just go and browse around and check it. See what you like. You can pick out anything you like. I guarantee you there's something that you like there. You could also find me on my YouTube channel, Brooklyn Baritone. I'm also on LinkedIn under Corey Ashley. You can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. You can hear the audio versions of these podcasts on Google Podcast, iTunes Podcast, and Amazon Music under Podcast. I also broadcast on local Brooklyn cable television four times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Verizon, RCN, Spectrum, and Optima. Thank you guys for listening. I want you guys to be good, be blessed, practice humility, be humble. You hear from me next week. Walk good. I'm out.